ESPN. Back here on Friday Night Fights. And yes, De La Hoya Vargas off. Bad blood denied yet again. Oscar De La Hoya says he sprained his hand hitting a sparring partner and will not be able to resume training until July. De La Hoya says the fight isn't being canceled, merely postponed. He says a new date possibly, as people are saying, September 14th. So yet another delay for the fight for the real world title at 154 pounds. Right now, let's welcome in live a title holder at 154 right now, Fernando Vargas, joining us from Los Angeles. Fernando, uh, tell us your initial reaction after all you've been through to get him into the ring. What was your reaction when you heard the news? Well, you know, it was something It didn't really surprise me. You know, um, it's something that, I mean, uh, for some reason I saw something like this coming. I mean, the first time around we had the fight signed and, um, you know, he said it was a money issue. Um, we cleared that up. Then the second time around, um, you know, that, you know, he wasn't going to fight unless we fought with 10-ounce gloves. And which I, I said, okay, I never fought with 10-ounce gloves, but, you know, if, uh, if I, you know, hurt sparring partners or, 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 you know, in training and knock them down with, with 14, 16-ounce gloves, then I could do it with 10-ounce gloves and no problem. And um, now all of a sudden, you know, um, he says he hurt his hand. Which, you know what I'm saying, I, sometimes I, f I find that a little hard to believe with, with, you know, just all this happening back to back to back. And, um, you know, uh, well, I don't know what, what I got to do, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, I, I definitely want to fight, you know, but I'm not going to be waiting for this cat, you know, um, to say, okay, we'll fight when you want. I gotta, I'm, gonna, I'm in the best shape of my life right now. You know, I took... Uh, you know, uh, I've just been in the gym. And Fernando, I'm very, who you look I'm, at? First of all, how was your... First of all, lighten up, man. You're among friends. For, hold on a <laughs> sec. Lighten up for a second. How was your camp going? Man, like never before, Max. Um, you know, I just feel so happy with myself because um, I got this mentality now, you know, um, that um, this Roy Jones mentality, this uh, Bernard Hopkins mentality that staying in the gym, even like after the, after the fights, stay in the gym. Even on Christmas, I was in the gym. New Year's, I was in the gym. And I feel so happy with myself. And, um, you know, if, if you really see the way I look right now. We um, just saw a clip of you. Just as you said that, you look in very well, good shape. Well, 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 that, 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 that's, that's nothing compared to, uh, I mean, uh, the way I look ahead, right now. Go ahead, take off your shirt. Go ahead, well, let's see. You know, let's see I what know, you got, you know, Fernando. Let's well, see what you, you know, got. I, I know that, uh, you know, everybody wants to check it out. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it up for everybody, you know. As I've long as you're in hard. shape. Treme you, you look fantastic. Let me ask no, you something. I've been working hard, and, uh, you know... Who does the delay, considering the shape you're in, Fernando, who does the delay help or hurt? Does it help or hurt you or Oscar Moore? What, nah. What's the status there? You know, I think, it, I think, it, I think it, it, it definitely helps me more because, uh, think about it, it's like this. I've been in the gym. It don't matter. I'll stay in the gym. You know, if he doesn't want to fight right now, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get a fight. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm in the best shape of my life. I, I'm only four pounds over my weight class right now. I feel solid. You know what I'm saying? Come on, 154 pounds. You know what I'm saying? And 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 a Mexican's not supposed to look like this, people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A Mexican's not supposed to look like this. We love tortillas. We love frijoles. We love everything. You know what I'm saying? And you know when we're not, and and, and you gotta have dedication. So. When you see a Mexican across the ring that looks good, that works hard, and you see him that's ripped, you know that guy's coming out there, you know, for blood, and that cat right there, you're gonna have to kill to beat. You know what I'm saying? And All right, I've so been working hard. Yeah, clearly you have, and I hope it's warm in there too, you for Fernando. Uh, Mamadou Tiam is is a mandatory. Would you take him, or do you take someone as soon as you can? Uh, wh who do you fight? You know, I'm gonna let that be up to my people, but um, you know, Shelly, Shelly Finkel, uh, you know, the best manager in boxing. Um, main events, my people, Gary Shaw, the best promoters out there that, you know what I'm saying, I hope, you know, we can get a fight. Fernando, In LA, we got to do something, you know what I mean? We got to do something. I mean, why am I going to wait for this guy? I mean, all of a sudden, well, let's say he says that he's not going to fight me. Then I, I'm not going to be waiting for this guy. I'm 24 years of age. He's the one, if anything, it's hurting. He's 29, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I'm, I'm right here and I'm working hard and it's hard to go to work. And, and it's hard to go to work when you're wearing silk pajamas. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, and I'm working hard, and I've, I've rededicated myself to myself, to the sport, and um, to give myself 110% for, you know, until I'm 28. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, you know. But I'm ready to give myself 
110% to the sport, and, and I've been working hard, and I'm happy with myself, Max. The way I've been working, so, so the way I've been out, looking. So, so, so throw out clearly. That's obvious. I mean, you can see you're in shape. Throw out a couple names out there. I mean, I've heard stories I'm about not, you and, okay, and uh, Vernon uh, Forrest in sparring no, sessions. supposed to be ridiculous. Look, if Delaware does not want to fight, I want to fight Winky Ray. You know, I want to fight Winky Wright. I think Winky Wright, I know there's always, you know, talk about, you know, this, that, you know, uh, you know, uh, that I didn't look so good, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm ready to step into the ring with Winky Wright because I know. Nobody you know calls out Winky Fernando. That's crazy. No that's money. That's he's a dangerous no, no, no. guy. Well, he's a I, well, look, Max, I did. You know what I'm saying? I And I will. Like I said, you know what I'm saying? When I, fuck, when I just finished fighting uh, Chivata, I said, if Delaware does not want to fight, I want to fight Winky Wright. Unification title, that was my title. I'm gonna go out there and I, and, and I feel, you know what I'm saying, that at 154 pounds, when I put my punches together, I don't feel there's anybody that can stand up. All right, and Fernando, I, we're, we're all out of time. I'm sorry, you're, you're in great shape. I tell that says a lot that you're calling out Winky Wright, because even Vernon Forrest, he didn't say he wouldn't fight, but he said that's one guy you're to risk and reward. You're making real boxing fans it. love you, Fernando. You're making real boxing fans love you. Thank you very much, great talking to you. Thank you. Thank